Yo, man, 92, 93, everybody wanted to rhyme like Onyx, man. Straight up, the influence we put in hip-hop was crazy. Everybody was cutting their hair ball, you know what I'm saying? Camouflage and shit. Just, everybody wanted to be grimy. The grimy style was crazy, man. Everybody wanted to rhyme like that. That nigga Puff Daddy, I was just watching the dance thon he was having for the healthcare workers, you know what I'm saying? We got to support the healthcare workers and all that, man. So shout to Diddy on that. And he was saying uh, to the DJ, yo, cue that uh, record up he did. The record he did was Supercat. And he was like, yeah, man, that was my first record. And I wanted to be like Fredro Starr on that record and shit. And I was like, wow, wow. Because I always heard that record and I always said, damn, this nigga Puff trying to rhyme like me and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't not, you know what I'm saying? He, he did it one time and it was one record. It was Puff, Jesse West, B.I.G. and Supercat. And I think the record is called uh, Dolly Me Baby or some shit. And he's rhyming just like me on that record. And every time I hear that record, it just makes me kind of like, like, wow, you know what I'm saying? This nigga Pup trying to rhyme like me. And when I heard him say that shit, I was like, wow. That just, you know what I'm saying, gave me, you know, the, the clarification that it was true. I mean, everybody was trying to rhyme like Onyx, man, back in the days. That shit is crazy. And Bad Boy, early Bad Boy and Onyx, we had a great relationship, man. You know what I'm saying? Jam Master J knew Puffy. I don't know how they knew each other. But they was real cool, man. You know what I'm saying? They was real cool. Um, I remember Jam Master J telling us, um, yo, man, y'all niggas got to get to the studio and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's this kid named Biggie Smalls in the studio. Y'all got to do a song with this nigga. We like, who? Biggie Smalls? Who that? You know what I'm saying? Like, for, for no money? What? Where, where, where the money at? Where the bad guy? He's like, nah, just get to the studio, man. Don't worry about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Naughty by Nature was on the record, too. It's a, it was a record called Flip That Shit. It was for the Who's the Man soundtrack. It was supposed to be on the soundtrack for the movie, Who's the Man. So we get to the studio, you know what I'm saying? We all hyped up, got the Onyx jackets, the jerseys coming through, you know what I'm saying, how we do. And we meet Biggie Smalls for the first time. Big dude, man. Dude, like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, six, big, you know what I'm saying? Big, black, and ugly, just like he said, and shit, word up. Haircut was all crazy, you know what I'm saying? He ain't have no shape up. Nigga had like an afro, like just a real street nigga, you know what I'm saying? Word, nigga had on wallabies. I remember he had wallabies on because the back the back of the wallabies got that gum sole and the back of the wallabies was like like leaning and shit. Like, like they wasn't new, you know what I mean? So you could definitely tell he was a street nigga right off the streets and shit. So that was the first time we met B.I.G., you know what I mean? Naughty by Nature was there. And I always look at this picture. There was a there's a picture of Onyx, B.I.G. and Naughty by Nature. And I always look at that picture and I always say, damn, man. Shot Skills, rest in peace. Jam Master J, rest in peace. B.I.G., rest in peace. When I look at that picture, it's just like a real memory that was captured, man. And and, and to see that picture and the, and the brothers ain't here no more, man. That shit is real, man. And um, the first time we heard Biggie rhyme, man, it was just crazy, bro. It's like we was... Naughty by Nature did they verse. Jesse West did the beat, I think. Jesse West did the beat. And um, Naughty by Nature did they did they verse and shit. Boom, boom, boom. They did they thing. Boom, boom. Then Onyx, we did our thing. Do, do, do. And when we did our verse, it's crazy because, you know, we all romped on it. When I say all, it was me. It was four rappers. Me, Sticky, Sun C, and Big DS was on that record. So while we listening back to our verse in a room with everybody, Puffy, Jam Master J, Biggie, these little C's, whoever, everybody was in the room, Naughty by Nature, we was all listening to it, Puffy, Puffy rewinded this shit and was like, yo, that dude right there, he gotta, he gotta, he gotta come off, so Jay was like, who, him, He's pointing to Sticky, he was like, nah, not him, he was like, who, him, Jam Master Jay was like, who, him, pointing to Sun C, he was like, nah, not him, so Jam Master Jay pointed to me, who, him, he's like, nah, 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 then he played Big DS verse, he was like, that verse, that verse, so, Big DS verse never made the record, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, shit, Big DS stomped out the studio. He was mad, like, you know what I'm saying? I, yo, Big DS was my man and shit. And, and and Biggie even said this shit. You know what I'm saying? When we was talking to Biggie, he said some real shit. He said, um, after Big DS stomped out the studio because he was upset, you know, he, he didn't get on the record, B.I.G. was like, yo, man, I got to give it up to y'all niggas. Y'all got a lot of love for your man and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he ain't really that nice on the mic. But y'all got the nigga in the group and y'all showing love. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, that's my man. You know what I mean? Big DS 
started this shit. He's, he, you know, Big DS is the foundation of this Onyx shit. You know what I'm saying? So that was some shit Biggie, he said to us, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he saw the structure of Onyx and the love we have for each other. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, that's the first time we heard B.I.G., man, in the studio. And um, so we all did our verse. And then when Biggie gets in the mic, he gets to the booth, he puts the headphones on, we all looking at him shit. Naughty by Nature verse done, Onyx verse is done. The, the chorus was like, yo, you flip that shit. Nah, you flip that shit. You flip that shit. Nah, you flip that shit. You flip that shit. Nah, you flip that some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, sound like some shit I made up. But uh, so when Biggie gets in the mic, he gets on the mic. He just, his voice sounded like fucking thunder. The first time I heard his voice, it was just... The clarity in his rhymes, you heard every syllable and it was just flowing, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't have no book. Like niggas was reading from books back then. He ain't have no book. So I, I could I, I could, you know what I'm saying, contest it. Yo, he don't write, he don't, he don't write no rhymes in a in a book, man. Word up, because B.I.G. ain't have no book when he laid that verse. And that's something I noticed. But um, yeah, man, that record never came out. It was called Flip That Shit. And Biggie says some shit. He says some shit, da 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 castration. I said, damn, castration. You know, that's a word I ain't used yet. You know what I'm saying? I knew cat what castration meant. I was like, castration mean cut shit? Niggas was like, yeah. Me and Sticky was looking at each other like, ugly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because back then, it was who could say the most fucked up shit. That's what rap was about in the early 90s, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we had a good relationship with Bad Boy, man. You know? And it was this one time, it's crazy because nobody remembers this shit except for me, it seems like. I remember one time we was on a plane. Everybody was on a plane. The whole bad boy, Biggie, um, the whole Junior Mafia, Little Kim, you know what I'm saying? All of them. Um, Total was on a plane with us. Um, the Fugees, they was on a plane with us. And we was all going to some concert, you know what I'm saying? I think it was like in Jamaica or some shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We all on one plane together. I think I'm sitting next to Little C's and we just vibing. That was the ill shit, man. That was a hip-hop plane, man. Like four or five groups was on one fucking plane and going to do a concert and shit, you know what I'm saying? And that was just ill. Just just that, that, that airplane trip was ill. Nobody remembers this shit, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But um, so yo, it's the funny shit. So we get we get to the destination where we was at Jamaica, Puerto Rico, somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Niggas had rum punches and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? When we landed. So I know it was the Caribbeans. So everybody waiting in the lobby to check in. So Onyx, Fuji's, Total, Biggie, everybody waiting in the lobby and shit to check in, get their keys or whatever. So you know me, I'm just like, you know, saying what's up to everybody. Ah, what's up? What up? Ah, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? So I see the Fuji's. So I go up to the food. She's like, what up, what up? They like, yo, da, 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 da. I see Laura Hill and shit. I'm like, hello. She hit me with the, nigga, I had a long motherfucking flight. Get the fuck out of my face, look. <laughs> Word. I was like, uh, all right. I kept it moving. Word up. I said hi to her. She didn't even say nothing to me. She just gave me that look like, I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was an ill, ill plane ride, man, with the whole hip hop crew, man. Word. Crazy shit. So shout to my nigga Diddy, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like you, my nigga. Straight up.